Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. I'm Nigel Croft and it's Thursday the 7th of September. In this short video we'll be looking at the charts on the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. So the charts known as the loonie. What we'll see is that the dollar weakness looks like it will continue. All of key indicators on the charts that I look at all look negative. The only thing I can say is that we're approaching the key big number support at 120 and everything looks so negative. Could it be a buying opportunity? Okay, so here we have the daily. Each candle represents one day and you can see that we're fast approaching uh, 121 and 120 on the uh, on the USD versus the Canadian dollar. Um, every negative factor that you can point out on a technical chart is on this chart. We've had multiple bearish crosses on the moving average. They're all tracking down. Uh, key supports have failed. The RSI is in a downtrend indicating negative momentum. MACD rolling down, still showing a sell sign and is below zero. So on this daily, there's nothing really to get excited about at all. Uh, what you would be looking for is perhaps a non-confirmation on the RSI as an early sign of maybe a turning point, but there hasn't been one of these. Even the lows that we had um, at the back end of July, and there was a rally after that, there was actually no non-confirmation on the RSI. So nothing to uh, indicate any short term well significant rally there may be a sh we are slightly getting overextended from the moving averages so there will be no surprise if there was a short term tick up but it would soon find resistance on the weekly picture you can see that uh, over the last couple of weeks we've fallen below the support of the 200 week that's still tracking up and will still be a factor uh, but we do need to get back above it to, for it to have its influence. Um, here, the 20 and 50, they crossed in a downward direction, which is a bearish cross on the week of 24th of July. And they are very negative if we have, have any rally at all. Likewise, on the daily, on this weekly, the RSI, uh, very indicative of negative momentum down at uh, 27.38 and no sign of a non-confirmation there and the MACD as well both tracking down short term below long term well below zero on the short term here we're looking at the four hour chart this would give the first potential sign of any recovery you could see that uh, yesterday we had this big fall that was from the resistance of the 20 uh, moving average uh, 20 and 50 did uh, create a bearish cross again at the start of September and you can see that uh, they're all moving down there was a bearish cross on the 5200 as well uh, back on the 24th of August RSI again very weak 23.99 MACD again negative um, let's look at the support and resistance levels so we've got a resistance at the 50 from the 4 hour, 124.39, then at 125.23 uh, from the 50 day on the daily, with there being no support until 120 and then below there 119 spot 2. Thanks for watching this video on the USD versus Canadian dollar. The key takeaways uh, should be that the trend is down. You should just go with it. Uh, pot potentially a big number support at 120. Um, as I said at the start, everything is so negative. Could we have a rally? But if there is a rally, it will be short term. 
and the momentum is disastrous um, on all the daily, weekly and the four hour chart. Please remember the videos I do on YouTube are my my opinions. Uh, they're not meant as an investment recommendation and they're really for educational purposes. I hope you find these videos of interest. If you're not a subscriber, please do hit the subscribe button. You'll then get email updates when I come out uh, with uh, further videos on YouTube. I don't just cover currencies. I cover the commodity markets. I look at stock indices and I look at individual stocks in both the UK and the US. Many thanks for watching.